Since 2007, Duke Energy Renewables has invested more than two and a half billion dollars to build wind farms in communities across the country. Duke Energy Renewables is part of Duke Energy, one of the largest electric utilities in the U.S. Headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina, Duke Energy serves approximately 4 million customers. In addition to operating fossil fuel, nuclear, and hydroelectric power plants in North and South America, Duke Energy owns and operates large-scale wind and solar farms across the United States. Investing in wind power is just one way Duke Energy can create long-lasting, quality generation assets that help us serve our customers with clean, affordable, and reliable power. And we're proud because in doing so, we extend the long, rich history of Duke Energy in benefiting our communities and the environment. There's a lot that goes into siting, building, and putting a wind farm into operation. Once a potential site is identified, we open a dialogue with local stakeholders. Then we undertake an impact analysis to ensure that the site is appropriate for further development. If it is, we sign land leases, begin collecting wind data, and study environmental and transmission impacts further. These two gentlemen pulled up on the place and they asked us if we were uh, interested in wind turbines. And they kind of described what they were looking for and, you know, asked, you know, if we could put, if they could put up a MET tower and to see if we had enough winds to support this wind farm. At that point, we stop and reassess the project's viability. If we elect to proceed, we conduct town hall meetings and participate in public hearings, both to inform the community and to get their feedback. They had three public meetings, which I thought informed us very well. And if you had a problem or a question, uh, you could ask them. The people that ran the meetings were well informed. A critical step for Duke Energy Renewables is having a long-term power purchase agreement to sell the electricity from the project. Having an agreement in place before beginning construction helps ensure the long-term success of the project. Like most entities, uh, we're going to do a request for a proposal for a wind project. And we're going to consider price, obviously, that's important to us. But there are many other factors that we consider as well. Uh, we consider what is the experience of the developers that respond to our request. What's their track record with other projects. Financial stability is important. We want a strong counterparty to deal with. Duke is obviously a strong financial partner. And uh, they were building a, a, a project in our area that we could take advantage of. And we're happy we did. Once we secure all of the necessary governmental and environmental permits and approvals for the project, we construct it, commission it, and then put it into commercial operation. They arranged uh, a lot of surveys and, and a lot of people were out here to check out where to put the turbines. And once they figured that out, they did ask us, you know, if those locations were okay. They didn't just do anything without asking. Then when they started construction, they kept us in the loop and they talked to us all the time about things. Once our wind farm is up and running, on-site technicians oversee operations and maintenance. We monitor each and every one of our turbines 24 hours a day, 365 days a year from our central operations center in Charlotte, North Carolina. This assures the safe and efficient performance of our wind farms. We work closely with local landowners, community leaders, government officials, and other key stakeholders every step of the way. They were interested in hearing what the community had to say and how they could integrate a wind farm into the existing community and keep the good things that were here. And I think they did, did that well, and I think that other communities will see the same results if they approach it with an open mind and have a good open dialogue with, with Duke. There are a number of economic benefits that communities see when they host a wind farm, including valuable tax revenue that could be counted on year after year, new revenue streams for participating landowners, jobs, particularly during the construction phase, and a significant boost in activity for local businesses. You see these being constructed out here and you think more tax money for our school system, for our kids and our grandkids. So to me that's really important economic impact was huge for the city of Burlington and with the rental of property um, that the group brought in 
but also the soft dollars as far as fuel uh, for their transportation, the motels, meals. Us being a rural area, uh, everything's not available, but uh, what we can buy from the local hardware store, the local grocery stores, that type of thing, and uh, try to keep our money at home. Earning the trust of the community and the landowners is critical to the success of our business. It's important to us that they have a positive experience throughout the lifespan of the project. Before everything was done by the family, uh, seven days a week, very few breaks. One of the things that came about from the development of the wind farm was our ability to hire one of our first uh, part-time employees uh, who could work some flex hours. And I've even got a college student who works for us now pretty steady, and it's helping put him through school. So there's two or three people that benefited into that, in addition to the reduced workload for the rest of us. So it was an outcome that uh, we hadn't initially foreseen, but uh, has sure been a benefit. The wind turbines haven't changed our life one bit. They've actually made, them, it's bad, made it better, really. It allowed me to retire. It allowed my mother-in-law some security. My husband's happier because I'm home. The turbine directly behind me is Charlie, and he's about 1,200 feet from our house. Uh, the only time we hear him is when we step out the door if the wind is just right. Charlie doesn't, he doesn't bother us any at all. He don't bother the cattle the wildlife are around underneath them. They get used to it just like they get used to anything else. We get the biggest kick out of watching them. You know, it's fun to watch them. What I am really excited about is my husband and I are both retired. And we have two daughters and four grandchildren. And you look out here and you're not only in the future leaving them this farmland, but you're leaving them a legacy of wind towers. And what could be better than that? I mean, that'll be extra income for them, for their children's children. Hopefully they're here forever. An important part of our business model involves building strong ties to the community through job creation, volunteer work, charitable giving, and even sponsoring technical training programs at community colleges. Duke has done a lot for this program. In the early stages, they donated money to help get books and some of the equipment that you see behind me set up in the program. And just this fall, we were able to put out our first scholarship off that money, so that's a good thing. i tell you that Duke came on and they were the single largest individual donor ever for the Wyoming Senior Olympics in their 25-year history. They aren't just here for the short haul to get their money and get out there and, and going to be a community partner for a long time. And We're excited about that. My goal is to improve on our relationships on a daily basis. Doors always open. If they've got an issue, they've got all of my contact information. They stop by to see me just to, just to chat and say hi. Just good neighbors, good partnerships. We take pride in conducting business in a forthright and responsible manner, focusing on safety and environment and building long-lasting relationships with our partners in the community who make these wind power projects possible. At the end of the day, we're only going to be successful if everyone stands to benefit. If they can look back in 5, 10, and even 20 years and say, yeah, I definitely choose to work with Duke Energy again, then we'll have accomplished our goals.